A cold front could bring a sugar coating of snow to parts of central and eastern Kentucky. We'll track that in a busy seven day forecast just ahead. How a new high tech tool has been helping road crews in Madison County this winter. Days after a fire destroyed a barn there, a central Kentucky thoroughbred farm has received a large donation to rebuild. This is WKYT News at 11. And good evening. Some wintry weather could be moving back into the bluegrass overnight. Snow showers and flurries are in the forecast. So the big question, will we see any accumulation from this? We begin tonight with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. He joins us with what he's tracking on the first alert defender right now. And the short answer to that is probably not. Maybe a little coating into parts of eastern Kentucky and some of the mountains, but that's about all she wrote. A far cry from the situation we were facing one week ago tonight when a major winter storm was bearing down on the bluegrass state. We replaced that with a wimpy little cold front that is now surging south of the Ohio River. The air behind this isn't especially cold. It does have a little moisture with it, but notice all the snowflakes here are aimed more toward the east, toward West Virginia, than they are Kentucky. But anyone is fair game for a couple of flakes of snow to come by their skyline later on tonight. That front is just to the north of the Lexington area now, and that'll continue to work its way on toward the east and southeast. A little bit of sprinkle action in northeastern Kentucky behind that, maybe a flake or two around the Covington, Cincinnati area. That future radar trying to pick up on some of those flurries or a light snow shower where you see that little heavier burst in the southeastern Kentucky. And boy, that is uh, rather wimpy looking. That may put down a little coating here or there. Overall, though, heading into the day tomorrow, temperatures will improve into the afternoon, mid and upper 30s on a gusty wind. It will feel cooler than that. Any flurry in the morning will give way to some afternoon sunshine for a better into the day than how we started. So your weather headlines, those snowflakes later tonight, a big warm up is on the way this weekend and early next week. The problem with that is it's going to bump, uh, bump up against Arctic air that is coming in behind it. Guys, that could lead to some big thunderstorms into the first part of next week. It is a very active forecast. We'll break down the possibility of record highs, strong thunderstorms, and Arctic air in just a few. Chris, thank you. Road crews in Madison County have some new technology this winter, and it came in handy during last week's snowstorm. County leaders and even people in the community can now track the county's salt trucks as they battle snow covered roads. Monique Blair explains how it all works as she continues our first alert weather team coverage. This is what the streets in Madison County looked like last Friday, but now that all 23 of the Madison County plow trucks are equipped with a GPS device along with a new website. Site the county rolled out the day of the storm. Next time folks in the county see this with just the click of a button, they'll be able to see whether or not their streets have been plowed. It's a communication factor. I mean, it's really educating the community. They just want to know. So this is how the website works. You put any street in the county here at the top. You'll see it will zoom to that street. Now, it's a little hard to tell here because there aren't any trucks out right now. But if there were, you would see little green arrows here on Crutcher Pike. It would even go as far as showing you the direction in which the truck is moving. The website also shows you exactly which roads are maintained by the county and which roads are not. The Madison County Tracks program is not only a way to be more transparent for those at home, but also a way to keep the truck drivers safe. Well, we can track the trucks now in real time. We can see where they're at on the route, see how long it's going to take them to finish the route, or see how long it's going to take to get to a particular part of that route. We can also, uh, we can tell if the truck's having trouble if he's driving too fast or too slow. The GPS devices cost the county about $16,000. The data that we collect to make our routes more efficient, mm -hmm. um, you know, with all this data, we potentially could shave time off of our routes. In Madison County, Monique Blair, WKYT. And we have a link to the Madison County Tracks website on WKYT.com. Leaders of Lexington Streets and Roads Department told us they're also interested in this program. New tonight, one of Tennessee's top 10 most wanted fugitives has been found in southern Kentucky. The Laurel County Sheriff's Office says deputies arrested 51 year old Rick Brock tonight. They say a tip led them to Brock's brother's home in London. Deputies say they found Brock hiding in the home behind a refrigerator. Once at the Sheriff's Office, deputies say Brock then assaulted one of them and tried to escape. Police say Brock was wanted in Claiborne County, Tennessee on child rape charges. 
New tonight, a Scott County jury has convicted a woman of killing her boyfriend. The jury found Melinda Turner guilty of murder tonight. The sentencing phase of the trial then began. The jury deliberated for about six hours before returning with a verdict. Police say Turner stabbed 26 year old Maxwell Pomeroy Jr. in their Georgetown home back in 2010. New tonight, Governor Matt Bevin claims that a Planned Parenthood clinic in Louisville is performing abortions illegally. In a statement, the governor said, quote, they are openly and knowingly operating an unlicensed abortion facility in clear violation of the law. We will use the force, the full force of the Commonwealth to put a stop to this. End of quote. Planned Parenthood leaders say the health clinic opened in Louisville last month. They say they applied for an abortion facility license and began services under the guidance of the state office of the inspector general. Five days ago, a fire destroyed a barn at a thoroughbred retirement farm in Scott County. But now some generous people have stepped in to help. The old friend's farm has now received a $50,000 donation. And as Garrett Weimer tells us, new at 11, farm leaders say the money will be put to good use. On this quiet farm in the heart of horse country, ashes and scraps are all that remain of their hospital barn. But it all went up in 15, 20 minutes. I mean, it just went up and that was it. Old Friends founder Michael Blowen says he hasn't looked at his main barn the same since for fear of another fire until now. It changes our whole outlook on things. Blowen says they've gotten help from nearby farms and other folks. Now, Fasic Tipton's Blue Horse Charities is donating $50,000 to help them rebuild. Blowen says he plans to build two new barns and use what's now their main barn for social events. We will never, never have to put uh, horses in a barn that's flammable again. These two new barns will be completely uh, fireproof. We're going to have the advice and consent of the local fire department and the fire chief. We're going to come out and advise us on everything. But this, these are going to be the most fireproof horse barns ever built, I promise you. Knowing that's just over the horizon, Lowen says now he'll be able to sleep again. Everybody that supports us and everybody that loves these horses can go to bed at night knowing that if there is a horse in a barn, uh, there's not going to be a fire in there, no matter what. It, and, uh, and that'll be a tremendous relief for everybody. In Scott County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. The new hospital barn will be named after the late John Hedinger, a friend of Blowen's and a former owner of Fasic Tipton. Blowen says Hedinger loved horses and worked tirelessly on their retirements. New tonight, firefighters say a grease fire got out of control at a Lexington home. That fire started just after 7 tonight on Redwood Drive near Georgetown Road. Firefighters say a man at the home was heating up some grease to fry chicken. They say he walked away briefly, but when he returned, the grease was on fire. No one was injured. Firefighters say they kept the damage to the kitchen and laundry room, but the man can't stay at that home tonight. Tonight, seven Republican presidential candidates met for their final debate before the Iowa caucus. But frontrunner Donald Trump refused to show up, hosting his own event instead. Craig Boswell has more. GOP frontrunner Donald Trump staged his own show at Drake University in Des Moines Thursday night, just a few miles from the debate he boycotted over a dispute with Fox News. When you're treated badly, you have to stick up for your rights. Trump's full capacity event of about 700 people was billed as a benefit for veterans. Supporters lined up early. I would have dug through a snow tunnel all the way from camp to here if I needed to. I like his boldness. I like his ability to get things done. But Trump's decision to go it alone could alienate voters who expected him to debate. It felt like a. He was running away from Fox News a little bit. Trump claims his foundation raised more than $5 million for veterans, but his absence at the debate didn't go unnoticed. I'm a maniac, and everyone on this stage is stupid, fat, and ugly. And Ben, you're a terrible surgeon. <laughs> now that we've gotten the Donald Trump portion out of the way. <laughs> I kind of miss Donald Trump. He was a little teddy bear to me. Some of Trump's rivals mocked him in a debate on the Fox News channel. They also sparred over illegal immigration. I know that securing our borders is not anti-immigrant. We should have a path <laughs> to legal status for the 12 million people that are here illegally. Iowa voters have until Monday to back a candidate at the caucuses. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Des Moines, Iowa. The Fox Network refused Trump's demand for the network to donate $5 million to his charity. Sheriff's deputies are now investigating some claims made against a Central Kentucky teacher, the latest on the case in nine minutes. And then how NASA is remembering the astronauts killed in the Space Shuttle Challenger explosion 30 years ago today. 
Standing for Kentucky means being proud of where you come from and being proud of where we're headed. Kentucky's history, present, and future have a common theme, hard work. It took hard work to get here, and we Kentuckians know it will take hard work to get us through tomorrow. At WKYT, we're proud to tell the stories of everyday Kentuckians who aren't afraid to get their hands a little dirty to make this a better place to live. WKYT stands for Kentucky. Of all the great Toyota deals out there, most are not seen on TV. Visit buyatoyota.com for a huge selection of offers like this Camry lease for only $179 a month. Buyatoyota.com, Toyota's official website for deals. Toyota, let's go places. Spend an evening with James Taylor and his all-star band. The American Icon is back on tour. April 24th, Rupp Arena. The multiple Grammy Award winning James Taylor and a night full of his biggest hits. Tickets make a great Valentine's gift. On sale Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster. James Taylor, another Beaver production. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Neil Huffman Honda of Frankfurt. Visit our website at huffmanhondafrankfurt.com slash TV. What do these women have in common? They are the staff of Ageless Medical Weight Loss. They've lost a combined 1,300 pounds. The team at Ageless will understand your struggles and celebrate your victories. For a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. Considering bankruptcy? Call Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Start your bankruptcy for only $78 now. Dial 859. Call Ask for your free consultation. Of all the great Toyota deals out there, most are not seen on TV. Visit buyatoyota.com for 0% financing, special leases, and Toyota Care no cost maintenance. Buyatoyota.com, Toyota's official website for deals. Toyota, let's go places. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. Now, your hour-by-hour hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Well, as expected, a weak cold front dropping south now into the bluegrass state. Does not have a lot of moisture, just enough, though, to get a little snowflake action to fly later tonight into tomorrow morning. Far cry from what we were going through uh, a week ago at this time with a big-time winter storm blowing on into the bluegrass state. You can pick out where that front is. Notice how the winds begin to change into northern Kentucky. 37 degrees in Covington, 41 Frankfurt, and into the Lexington area, southeastern Kentucky, where we have a little bit of clearing. We are much colder. Winds are calm here, but as we get north of the Ohio River, now those numbers are beginning to drop, and that's the air we're going to get in on late tonight and certainly into the day tomorrow. Did I mention there isn't a whole lot of juice with this? What juice is out there? in the form of a little rain or snow shower action northeastern Kentucky and especially into parts of the Buckeye State. Well, all of that is heading more toward Pittsburgh and Charleston, West Virginia than it is central and eastern Kentucky. We're going to watch the skies between Louisville and Indianapolis to maybe spit out a snow flurry, but quite a bit of cloud cover will be coming on down the pike as we go into later tonight and into the day tomorrow. Your Defender radar network with nothing really going on. A lot of this stuff isn't even getting to the ground. Maybe a light shower northeastern Kentucky. That'll scoot on out of here. Replacing that will be a colder brand of air as we go into the day tomorrow. Mid-20s to start out the day tomorrow afternoon. Instead of the mid and upper 40s like what we had today, let's take about 10 degrees off that. Let's go mid and upper 30s. Chilly night out for your Friday evening plans. But at least tomorrow afternoon skies are going to become partly sunny. If you want to knock a little salt off the car with a car wash, Sam, I'm looking in your direction on that one. Tomorrow afternoon is going to be the day to do that because we get some better weather going into our Saturday as well. Then once we make our way into the latter part of the weekend, things are going to change just a little bit. That hour by hour forecast, new data in late this evening showing the chill in the air for the day tomorrow. And notice the clouds scoot on out of here, mainly clear skies by the second part of your Friday into your Friday evening. That'll set us up for a much warmer Saturday across most areas. Watch the numbers climb. 
We will all be in the 50s. I could see 55 to 60 into southern parts of the state. Your Sunday forecast looks good in terms of temperatures. It's not going to be as sunny as what we have on Saturday. A lot of clouds around, and by the end of the day, into Sunday night and Monday, there's a weak cold front right on top of the region that could give us a couple of raindrops. That'll set the stage for a very windy and warm system late Monday and especially by Tuesday. This is Groundhog Day. We have a shot with enough sunshine on Tuesday to set a record high in most of the area. Then a big storm system cranks across the plain states. It may have a blizzard behind it. Out ahead of it, there's the chance for strong or even severe thunderstorms from the Ohio River and points to the south. That is one to keep an eye on. Then look what happens as that presses on through here by Tuesday night into Wednesday. All of a sudden now we go from spring back into the heart of winter time with some wraparound snow showers and flurries as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures will drop big time behind that front. But we continue to go up each day until we hit the peak on Tuesday. 70. Gusty wind greater than 40 miles per hour. Maybe strong or severe thunderstorms by Thursday morning, a low of 14 degrees. All within just a day or two. Mm. Big drop coming. Sort of like a Yahtzee cup. Put it all in there and kind of and see what we're going to get, right? Exactly right. Unfortunately, a lot of times when you put all that into the mix, yeah. you can get some big storms. Not watch, good. Tu watch Tuesday. Okay, right. Chris, thank you. It's supposed to help thousands of people in Kentucky, but in seven minutes, why a high speed internet project may have a big problem. $10,000 at Toyota on Nicholasville and pay off your holiday bills. Test drive any new Toyota before March 1st and you'll be entered to win $10,000. No purchase necessary. Get 0% for 60 months. New Corollas, only $149 a month. New Camrys, $169 a month. And you could win $10,000 at Toyota. The big Toyota store. The price sells cars. More specials at Toyota on Nicholasville.com. Meredith and her crew are having some serious fun. Yeah. Oh, geez. It's always unexpected. We never know, right? You are good. And totally unpredictable. It's only vodka. You gotta spill the beans. Yes, Meredith. The Meredith Vieira Show. It's really good. I'm feeling at home here. Every weekday, weekdays at 2 on the CW Lexington. At WKYT, we stand for Kentucky. We stand for the people of this great commonwealth. We stand for hard work and for those who aren't afraid to get their hands dirty. We stand for the little guy and we root for the underdog if we ever had to. We stand with Kentucky through hardships and through triumphs, through uncertainty and through tragedy. We stand for the big city and the rolling hills alike. And we stand for the one unifying factor that brings us all together, pride. Pride in our home state, in where we've been, and in where we're going. At WKYT, we always have been, and we always will be, standing right here with you. WKYT stands for Kentucky. 98 won the bull and Hardy's presents the red white and boom music festival 2016 starring Jason Aldean Country. Eric Church Florida Georgia line Thomas Red Cole Swindell Casey Musgraves and many more powered by the Lexington Clinic Labor Day weekend September 2nd through the 4th at the Whitaker Bank Ballpark Lexington tickets on sale now at red white and boom .com. Every morning is an eye-opening morning on CBS This Morning. Start with responsible, intelligent information and conversation. Take me back to that moment that we just saw in this confrontation. Searchers race to save people trapped for days in Colorado. In an interview you'll see only on CBS This Morning. Start with world-class original reporting. Start thinking. CBS This Morning. We're tracking some breaking news in Lexington tonight. Right now, Lexington firefighters are on the scene at what's left of the old Continental Inn. This is a live picture. The fire started about 45 minutes ago in the building on Eastland Parkway near New Circle Road. 
this is a live picture from the scene. As we said, you can see some fire damage visible there on the outside of the building. Firefighters say they're still trying to figure out what caused the fire. No injuries have been reported. Keep checking WKYT and WKYT.com for any updates on that. Tonight, a Central Kentucky high school teacher is under investigation. Police say that he may have had inappropriate communications with a student. The teacher works at Mercer County High School. The Mercer County Sheriff's Office says the parents of a female student made the report to them. They've seized some electronics as part of the investigation. Deputies have not released the teacher's name because so far he has not been charged, but a grand jury will take a look at the case. Police say the teacher has been told to stay away from the school. The school leaders would not comment on this investigation. New tonight, Winchester police say they want to talk to two people who may be involved in a robbery. Police say they're looking for information about the two people seen in this surveillance picture. They say the robbery happened at the Winchester Walmart, but so far police have not released any details about that robbery. Tonight, the Jessamine County Sheriff's Office needs your help finding a couple of missing teenagers. Deputies say that 14-year-old Taylor Garland of Nicholasville was reported missing on Tuesday. They think that she's with 16-year-old Alex Evans of Owensboro, who was reported missing January 7th. Police consider both teenagers to be endangered due to medical issues. 30 years ago today, the space shuttle Challenger exploded shortly after lifting off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Six astronauts and one teacher on board the shuttle were killed. Today, NASA held a day of remembrance to honor the lives lost on Challenger, along with the Apollo 1 fire in 1967 and the space shuttle Columbia disaster in 2003. NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden laid wreaths at Arlington National Cemetery. I just landed 10 days before we lost Challenger. And I tell people that, um, I mean, I was devastated. Families of the Challenger crew members later established Challenger Learning Centers all around the country. One of them is in Hazard. New tonight, a, high, a new high speed internet network meant to help Eastern Kentucky's economy could be running into some trouble. Kentucky Wired is a joint project between the state and private companies to install thousands of miles of fiber optic cables throughout the state. But a key part of how the state was supposed to pay for the project has fallen apart. Kentucky's finance secretary says it could put taxpayers at risk of paying back a nearly $300 million loan for the project. The state doesn't have a timeline for a solution. The U.K. women's team trying to continue a streak tonight, Rob. Well, it had been a long time since the Cats lost to Vandy. They went at it tonight. And the Kansas Jayhawks are next up for Cal's Cats. Bill Self talks about his fourth-ranked team when we come back with sports. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. It's official. Green's Toyota of Lexington is Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer for the fourth year in a row. We're celebrating all month long with amazing deals on our entire inventory. 0% APR on Toyota's most popular models. 1.9% APR on all certified pre-owned Toyotas. Plus, save $5,000 off MSRP on new Toyotas with our Green Saver coupon. Come in and let us show you our appreciation for making us Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer. Great people. Great cars. Hey, you know where to find me. 98.1 The Bull. It's your favorite radio station. It's the way that we get to you. Nothing like a great song. There's nothing like country music. Officer Dawn and Deanne Mornings. 60 minute bull rides all day. First thing in the morning. And last thing at night. Better country, 98.1 The Bull. The best songs. The biggest artists. All in one place. 98.1 The Bull. We'll see you there. Friday's Mega Millions jackpot is $56 million. Saturday's Powerball jackpot is $96 million. Everything you love about football is here, especially the pizza. Papa John's Customer Appreciation Weekend. 50% off pizzas with promo code L-O-U-C-A-W. Better ingredients, better pizza. PapaJohns.com. Hi, I'm Stephen Colbert. And I'm James Corden. And I'm the host of The Late Show. It's not enough time. CBS Late Night is on a roll. We're just two cool dudes who are ready to take comedy head on. <laughs> The Late Show with Stephen Colbert and The Late Late Show with James Corden. The cutting edge in late night. Colbert! Corden! 
Late show. Late night should still be on there. Weeknights, only CBS. Hello there. Hello. How do you like the car you're sitting in right now? It's so nice. I think it's beautiful. I like this. You're sitting in a truck that's its own Wi-Fi hotspot. Really? I didn't know they did that. Woo! Hey, guys. Hi. Hey. Who are we talking to you? So you think that's a good thing, to get auto show bonus cash? Who doesn't like having cash handed to them? Current qualified lessees can get this well-equipped Chevy Equinox LT for around $159 per month. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. You know why I love the feud? Steve Harvey, 2016 for president! Yes, Lord! Yeah. Yeah. Because I love watching this. Name something Grandma might store under her boobs. Her teeth! Come on, Grandma, time for dinner. <laughs> Family Feud, one full hour starting at 7 on The CW Lexington. Everything you love about football is here, especially the pizza. Papa John's Customer Appreciation Weekend. 50% off pizzas with promo code L-O-U-C-A-W. Better ingredients, better pizza. PapaJohns.com. Fourth-ranked Kansas is next up for John Calipari's team. The Cats have won the last three meetings over the Jayhawks, including the 2012 NCAA title game. Now, Kentucky has not won in Lawrence since 1985. The Jayhawks have a 34-game home winning streak going right now. The Cats, including Derek Willis, are looking forward to the trip. They talked about like the the court and all that, how historic it is and stuff. And that's I think that's you know cool for you know the game of basketball. But you know then again, it's another team you're you're, uh, you're playing. You know they're beatable or beatable, um, and it's just whoever wants it more is going to win. So I'm excited. I think it'll be a good atmosphere. It'll be fun. You know we focus on ourselves and do what we're supposed to do and listen to the coaches and. I think we'll be fine, so it'll be good as long as we pull around to uh, you know, the end of, end, of the, end of the season in March. Now, Kansas lost at Iowa State Monday night. In fact, the Jayhawks have lost three of their last five, all on the road. Bill Self talked today about his team being a little stale, as he put it. He didn't seem overly concerned. But the, the bottom line is we're going through what, you know, the vast majority of really good teams go through. Uh, in a year, and, and, and we just haven't been able to respond in the manner in which we need to, uh, at least when we played away from home. Well, this one is not away from home. It is in Lawrence, SEC Big 12 Challenge, Saturday night at 7 o'clock on ESPN. The UK women's team ranked number 12 in the country, looking tonight for its 10th straight victory over Vanderbilt. Michaela Epps came out, had 25 in the game for the Cats. But seconds before halftime, she passes to Janae Thompson in the three, tied it at 34. Tight the rest of the way. A layup by Alexis Jennings gives the Cats a 65-64 lead. Two minutes to go. Vandy gets a pair of big three-pointers by Krista Reed. The second makes it 70-65. Vandy with 20 seconds to go. UK would not quit. Epp scores on the steal. And the Cats were down by two. They would get a chance here to tie on the final play. But Janae Thompson's shot at the buzzer is blocked. Vanderbilt hangs on to win it tonight, 71-69. They're very disappointed, uh, but we have to stay the course right now and stay optimistic that we are practicing hard. I thought our players really worked hard yesterday to try to prepare. We're just not where we uh, hope we will be uh, defensively. And, um, you know, uh, Vanderbilt was able to find two more points in us tonight. We go to the boys' all A classic in Frankfurt, Owen County, and Kentucky Country Day. And if you don't know the name Carson Williams, you should. Williams, a hammer in the first half. Fourth quarter, the beautiful spin move on the blocks for two more. Rebels by six. Off the three-point miss, Williams grabs the board, puts it in. Williams with a huge game and the rebounds he needed. 33.17 rebounds, Owen County in the quarterfinals, 56 to 49. Also in the All-A, Morgan County and McLean County. First quarter, Morgan off to a quick start. Jordan Perry getting out in front on the break and finishes there at the rim. 
And then check this out. Perry on the wing, crossover into the lane. Perry's the 15-footer. Huge night for Perry he had a team high 30. The Cougars also getting a big game from Najee Banks. He drives to the bucket, scores off the glass. He had 18, seven steals, five assists. Morgan County advancing 84 to 68. Naquez Pringle, a junior college defensive tackle, is among the seven players enrolled early for UK football. Pringle is out of Georgetown, South Carolina. Now, he had offers out of high school from Clemson and South Carolina. He went the junior college route and now hopes to bring a pass rush to Kentucky. I bring a powerful uh, pass rush, you know. A bull rush is my specialty, you know. And I'm just trying to give a different look to the team. And if I can help in any way, you know, I'm going to do my best at doing it. And Matt Jones is next talking about who else? Derek Willis. Get five amazing deals. Up to 50% off furniture and mattresses. Up to 20% or more off TVs and appliances. Savings as good as the state sales tax break. Zero interest till 2019. And free delivery. Hurry to our super sale weekend. Nobody beats the rest. When winter is at its worst, that's when WKYT calls a first alert severe weather day. Keeping your family safe with the power of the Defender Radar Network and the entire first alert weather team. Plus, continuous coverage on air on WKYT.com and wherever you are with our news and weather apps. Because when the snow starts falling, it takes an experienced team to stand for you when the weather gets tough. First alert severe weather days, only on WKYT. Hi, Shane Huffman with the Neil Huffman Automotive Group, and we're celebrating the grand opening of Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt, where you can get two brand new 2015 Honda Civics for just $449 a month. All those details are on our website, and remember, Huffman has it now in Frankfurt. I grew up in Harlem, but I've lived in Lexington since graduating from UK, and it's given me a real appreciation for what it means to stand for Kentucky. Whether it's a big city or a small town, the people of Kentucky want our state to succeed. And we here at WKYT want to do our part to share the stories of difference makers who make our state a better place to live. I'm WKYT's Barbara Bailey, and I stand for Kentucky. At the end of the broadcast, I'm most proud of what we have done as a team. This is the ultimate team sport television news and all of the people that have contributed to that night's broadcast people who have risked their lives to tell the news and to deliver to the american people the highest quality news broadcast in the world today that is a very satisfying feeling mondays are golden on the cw Yay. That is so true. Gina Rodriguez is the 2015 Golden Globe winner, and Rachel Bloom is the 2016 Golden Globe winner for Best TV Comedy Actress. So, who's crazy now? <laughs> Don't miss the CW's award-winning leading ladies of comedy. We are a good person. You duplicitous minx. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and Chain the Virgin, all new Monday starting at 8, 7 central on The CW. Get weather plus traffic with a WKYT weather app. Have the Defender Radar Network in the palm of your hand while checking your driving conditions for your commute on the same screen. Weather plus traffic on the WKYT weather app. It's p rad Super Sale Weekend, and this LG High Efficiency Front Control Washer is just $4.99. Huge 65-inch 1080p LED TV, $6.99. Zero interest for 18 months on TVs and appliances. Nobody beats p rats Wednesday night in Rupp Arena, we got to see a little bit of what peak Kentucky can look like, and it was quite exciting. With the new lineup that John Calipari has put on the floor, Kentucky looks like a different team offensively. Derek Willis being inserted at the four spot has changed the way Kentucky plays offense. Tyler Ulis and Jamal Murray now have penetration lanes. Why? Because you can't double down on them as they get to the basket because there is now a shooter in the corner in Derek Willis that can make a shot. It's also helped the big guys. Alex Poitras has some more room to work because guys can't double team him on the post. We've seen Scal be able to hit mid-range jumpers, again, because of spacing on the court. 
It seems bizarre that Derek Willis, a player who up to this point had been best noted as a guy that the fans wondered when he would play, could come in and change the entire offense, but he's done it. And now we're starting to see each player play at the best version of themselves, to quote Cal Perry. And that group looks pretty daggone good. I'm Matt Jones, and this has been Overtime. Our chief meteorologist is pretty daggone good. I put in a little overtime as well over the past week. We I'm sucking at, up. What can I, I say? I know, right? 35 tomorrow. We've, I'll give you 50s this weekend, Sam, for sucking up. How's that? Good deal. <laughs> Have a good Friday tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow.